South African microbiologist Sean Davison regained his freedom Monday after serving three years of house arrest for premeditated murder. He was convicted for assisting three people to commit suicide, a quadriplegic friend, a man with mutant neuron disease and a paralyzed man. In another case, he also helped his mother and her life. I helped my mother to die out of compassion. And I helped the three men to die in Cape Town out of compassion. Compassion is compassion. Why, why should the compassion for my mother be any different from the compassion I felt for these men? I did not cross the line. There was no line to cross. The pro-euthanasia campaigner was sentenced in 2019 to eight years under house arrest, five of which were suspended. Medically assisted suicide or voluntary euthanasia are illegal in South Africa. The 59-year-old hopes the law will change. While I've been on a house arrest, a number of countries changed the law, including New Zealand. All of the states in Australia have now changed the law. And recently we had Spain and uh, other states in the United States. There is a general move around the world for a law change. And my issue has highlighted it again in South Africa. And hopefully the politicians are going to sit up and listen and also feel the mood of the country. In recent years, high-profile figures in South Africa have made the same call as Davison. Near the end of his life and on his 85th birthday, Desmond Tutu went against the teaching of his fellow Anglican church clerics to publicly support the assisted suicide campaign, especially for those suffering unbearably. Archbishop Desmond Tutu was a good friend to me and very supportive of me throughout my journey through the court starting in New Zealand when I was arrested for my mother's death and it continued in South Africa when I was first arrested and charged with murder. The very next day he came out in the media in support without even knowing the circumstances because he trusted me and he knew he gauged what had happened. His loss as a voice in the campaign is, is a great loss to the campaign um, he, because when Desmond Tutu spoke, the world listened. Davison founded the Right to Die charity Dignity SA. In 2018, the African region of the World Medical Association rejected euthanasia, calling instead for the strengthening of palliative care for terminal patients across the continent.